Hi, I'm Sadna Singh. Welcome to my life page. Uh, today I'm going to speak about writing nursery rhymes for children. But before that, let me introduce myself to you. I've done my schooling from Vellum Girls High School, Dehradun. Twelfth, I passed out from Presentation Convent, Delhi. Thereafter, I did my graduation and post-graduation in English Honours from Delhi University, IP College. Then I started my career in journalism. Then I branched out to publicity and films. And currently, I'm writing nursery rhymes for children. First, your target audience. You, it's, this is children. It's not like adults where you don't have to do any preparation. As a, a writing for children, firstly, you have to understand their psychology. You have to understand their level of development. You have to do a bit of research on their level of absorption and what all can they absorb because their mental growth is not yet 100%. So first is you must do a research on your area or your subject, your focus before you uh, start writing nursery rhymes. Rhymes for children. Rhyme and flow is important when you're writing for children because uh, it also gives them a lot of pleasure and they like to repeat it behind the teacher every time she uh, uh, recites a rhyme. The children also like to uh, sing along or talk along while the rhyme is going on. Major is to become a child. This is not as simple as it sounds because if you really study the market, Indian market, at least I don't find a single nursery rhyme writer, a serious anyone who's known in the market. They are casual people who just casually write a rhyme or two and then just write something else. But it's because it's very difficult to become a child for an adult. To absolutely empty yourself of your adulthood and become a child, think like a child, Become as simple as a child is a very, very, very difficult process. Writing for children is a big de-stress, at least for someone like me who was into journalism and publicity and seeing the darker side of life. For me, it brought me a lot of joy. It gave me a lot of pep. Children, I think they themselves are very, very joyful, interacting with them, writing for them. It also cleanses you, your system. It cleanses you, takes out uh, all your stress. Uh, so it's a major positivity, uh, writing for children. I think you become younger, you become better, and you become a more clean uh, person and a better producer for the society. One of the major challenges is, this is after your work is created, is, is facing rejections. After all, everyone is not ready to accept what you have written, and what you thought was very good is someone criticizes it. To take it in your stride and not to get affected, not to get bogged down by, by their criticism is a major, major challenge. A day in the life of a writer is very unconventional, unlike the 9 to 5 uh, jobs and the uh, jobs you've seen around. We have no fixed schedules. We have our own artificial deadlines. We have our own uh, processes. But a good idea is to have a fixed period for writing whether something comes to you or not, whether it's something which is going to be commercially viable or not, you should make it an exercise to write at least one page or one hour per day so that that discipline is maintained. Otherwise, we have no fixed schedules. I hope I've given you a balanced view about nursery rhyme writing and I have helped you to in formulating your ideas while you are writing your nursery rhymes. Thank you.